Hey guys, how's it going? Tom here from Intelligence, and I'm here with the f my first tutorial on my second channel, Intelligence 2. So thanks for coming over to this channel, checking it out. I'll be posting tutorials, behind the scenes, that kind of stuff over here, hopefully twice a week around that. But sorry if I sound kind of crappy, I've been sick all week, and I really wanted to get a video out there for you guys. But anyways, that stuff aside, what I'm going to be teaching you today is how to make a muzzle flash effect without any stock footage. So for all you people that don't own Action Essentials 2 from Video Copilot or have any muzzle flares at your disposal, this will allow you to make all the components within After Effects itself. And this can be kind of a lengthy process at first, but you can build up your own library of kind of components and that way the next time you do this it'll be really easy. So stick with me here. Uh, so yeah, there's two ways about uh, to go about this. You can either and this is my preferred method. Go down to Walmart, get yourself uh, a gun. You know, they can be pretty expensive, but it's a good investment. You know, buy some live ammunition and aim it straight at your uh, camera's sensor. You know, you, there might be a little bit of uh, cleanup afterwards, and you might have to get your SD card from the rubble of your camera. But that's definitely how, how you get the most realistic effect, you know, using a real gun. But if you don't want to destroy your camera and, you know, if you're that kind of person, you can do it this way. It's a little bit more time consuming, but uh you know. This is uh this is a good way to do it too. So whatever floats your boat. Anyways, let's get straight into it. There's a couple components in a muzzle flash that I think you should be aware of. First, the main muzzle flash itself appears for about one frame. It's a really bright light that you see when someone shoots a gun. And just a quick note. Some people think it's yellow. For the most part, it's really white. If you watch your favorite action movies, you'll notice that. Then there's the smoke, which lingers around afterward for a little bit. You've got a shell that shoots out of the gun to the side after you shoot the bullet. You've got shadows in your scene. You've got environmental lighting. And then the air that's displaced from the ripple of the heat and everything going on. So there's a lot of components to this. So if it's a lengthy tutorial, stick with me. You know, go... Uh, do your thing and come back, take a break, whatever you need to do. But let's get straight into it. You know, I've talked long enough. So we're going to start off here. Make sure you have a new composition. I'm doing 1280 by 720. Go ahead and layer new solid and make it a white solid. Hit OK. Now, you're going to want to kind of create a muzzle flash looking uh, shape here. So that's pretty much just like a plus sign that's kind of squiggly. I know it's kind of hard to see this. Sorry to all you people on the Internet. But when I'm done, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. So you've got this. I'm doing this on a trackpad, by the way. So it's going to be really slow. But stick with me. Okay, so we've got this shape here. It's pretty easy to make. Go ahead and line it up with your gun right here. Go ahead and uh, I hit F to do that. Bring up the feather down here. Feather it a couple pixels. Also, if you hit Apple Shift H... It hides the uh, lines and stuff so you can kind of see what's going on more with that. So go ahead and feather it like five. And if you hit M a couple times, it brings up this. Drop the expansion down like negative 10 maybe. No, that's too much. Negative five. That's good. Now we're going to go ahead and duplicate this. So Apple D, drop it down. Hit double M again and bring the expansion up just a little bit and feather it more. So what this is going to do, it's going to give it a little bit more shading. We can also go to uh, Effect, Color Correction, Tint, and tint the white a little bit yellow maybe. Not that much, but just enough so you get a kind of a cool effect. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate both of these, hit R, and scale them up a little bit. Okay. So that's looking pretty good. We're going to... I'm going to shut these off, and I'm going to go into my clip where I shoot the gun. I'm lagging a little bit here. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so right about here is where I shoot it. So I'm going to drag these to line up right about there, turn them back on. So, bam. Hit Apple, right uh, arrow, so we go one frame over. Then hit Alt and bracket, so it's just one frame long now. Or two. Now it's one. So one frame. There we go. Nice and good. Next up, I'm going to do the shadows. Because back here we've got a shadow and there's no shadow for the muzzle flare. So go ahead and duplicate this bottom layer. 
Now we already have a tint on here, so tint the white to black and move it over. So now we've got this cool kind of black shadow. Hit S to bring up the scale and scale it down to like 90. And then hit T for the opacity and scale this down to like 40 or 50. So it's just barely there. That's nice, okay. Next up we have to create kind of a smoke effect and this can be you know it's definitely a trial and error thing so go up here create a new solid make it uh, gray and then what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead up here and if you alt click you can bring up these different uh, shapes double click on star and you get this nice star then hit M a couple times and shrink the expansion down and this is gonna allow us to kinda get cool effect here without uh, you know, without it looking dumb, because that's the last thing we want. We definitely want a cool looking muzzle flare. So, over here we're going to look up uh, displace, and you've got turbulent displace. Drag that onto here, and bring the uh, size way down, and the amount way up. Size down a little bit more. So, we've kind of got this wispy looking effect you can turn it way up if you want there you go next thing go ahead and look up turbulent and add a turbulent noise so we kinda get more of a smoky look to it I'm gonna go ahead and select uh, turbulent basic and up the contrast alright this is looking pretty good you know maybe up the brightness to like 20 10 and uh, yeah it's looking nice it's looking nice so effect color correction tint again we want to make it a little bit kind of brown yellow smoke not too much so just right about there and most importantly we want a fast blur so right here add a fast blur and bring that up to right about there let's make it like 20 and so we want this smoke to kinda of go over time so let's start it off right about here and then go to your mask expansion and keyframe it at the beginning and we'll go a couple frames down the line and size it up now that might look a little bit overkill but what we're also going to do is keyframe the mask feather so right here and then go to the same spot uh, up the feather so it kind of it's a little bit smoother and then same with the opacity so hit T opacity and if you hit U it brings up all of the ones you've changed so far which is kind of nice for seeing what's what and then make it zero so we've got that nice smoke cloud you can probably bring this in a little bit closer so it doesn't go that far um, and then we're going to go ahead and start it off at like 75 opacity. That's nice. Let's go ahead and watch what we've got so far. That's sweet. We're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and move the uh, smoke behind the muzzle flash. That's nice. Okay. So I can assure you it's going to look a lot better. It might look a little bit cheesy right now, but that's okay so start off duplicate your bottom layer and drag it up then go to mode if you don't see this that's because you need to click toggle switches so go ahead and do that make it add and this will basically brighten the brights and what we're gonna do now is select parts that would be highlighted if you were to shoot a gun at your camera now I know most of you probably haven't done that but that's okay so go ahead and circle places that would be highlighted so like your face uh, your chest your legs the wall and then this wall so now we're gonna go back and we've got all these masks here if you hit T a couple times you got the mask opacity and we're gonna bring some of these down like this wall here make it like 30 make this like 40 and then hit F and we're just gonna feather them all out so feather this one out and if you hit alt shift H as I said before makes those uh, lines go away so go ahead and feather all these guys out here looking good and looking good so now as you can see that definitely makes it a little bit better so we're gonna hit Apple 
beginning bracket, so it starts here. Then hit T and keyframe it to fade out over like three or four seconds, or three or four frames, not seconds. So now it kind of lights up the environment. Bam. And that's looking good. Next up, let's do a shell coming out of the gun. So go ahead at New Composition. Make it like 400 by 400 frames. Got this new composition here. Go up to New Layer, Solid. Make it like a bronze color. And then uh, we're going to make a uh, nice shell here. So go like this. And bend that to there. And then drag this back. It's a lot of playing around with different things. Now that might not exactly look like a shell, but that's okay, because we're gonna make a new layer, solid, and make this one a little bit darker, and hide it. We're gonna go ahead and make a ellipse there, and then unhide it. So now we've got this ellipse. Go ahead and rotate it, and drag it on top here. And that's looking pretty good. Uh, bring this in. It's a nice shell we got. Maybe rotate it a little bit more, like 26 degrees, 28 degrees. All right, and then last but not least, we've got to do one more layer, solid. Make it like this color. Hide it. And then drag it up here. And this is going to be kind of a streak of light running along the edge and drop it underneath this guy. So now we've got that nice looking shell. And it might not look uh, very cool, but that doesn't matter because it'll be motion blurred out. So select all your layers, pre-compose it, and I did Apple Shift C there to do that, and make it, call it like shell or something. Go ahead and turn on motion blur for your comp, and for this, hit R, and let's go ahead and Spin it like two times. So now I've got the spinning shell, which is cool. So let's go back into the comp, drag in our shell from the left side. It's looking nice, it's looking nice. And we're going to go ahead and scale it down a lot. And that already kind of looks like a shell in there, you know. If I can't, if I don't say so myself, you know. <laughs> but make that like 15 scale and for position this is crucial keyframe position and then go like three or four keyframes or frames over and drag it off the screen um, and click this ball here and kind of drag it up so it has a little bit of an arc make sure that motion blur is on for your composition and the shell so now the shell is going to shoot out bam Looking good. You can play with this a little bit, you know, maybe lower the arc, bring it up. Yeah, so just kind of play with it like that. Um, that's nice. So, yeah, guys, that's the basic, uh, you know, muzzle flare. Now, we're just missing one part, and that's kind of more advanced, but it will make your muzzle flare look a lot more believable. So, let's go ahead and do it. We've got this guy here. Go ahead and duplicate your white uh, kind of faded muzzle flare and then pre-compose it into its own composition. So move all attributes into a new composition. Hit OK. Load it up and feather. Bring the feather down a little bit to like 20 and bring up the mask expansion. Nice. Okay. So what we're going to want to do is this is going to be a displacement map. So whatever is gray doesn't displace anything. and Whatever is white displaces whatever's behind it. So make everything on this muzzle flare white. I did that with the tint modifier that was already on there. And then feather it out quite a bit. That's probably good. All right, now we're going to make a new layer solid for the background of this placement map which should be a gray right in the middle, right there. Drop it behind here. Now, if we look in here, it's, uh, that's not exactly, you know, the best look. I mean, if that's the kind of muzzle flare you're going for, then you can probably stop here. 
but if you want something that looks a little bit more uh, a little bit better to the eye then stick with me so add a new layer adjustment layer new adjustment layer and add an effect which is gonna be we'll go over here look up displace and add a displacement map bam now it might not look like anything that's because we need to shut off this layer so turn off your uh, the one we just made then up here in displacement map select uh, whatever you just made so comp 2 or no it would be white solid 2 comp 1 now let's go back over here okay looking good so we need to extend this so it goes out a little bit further and in here we want it take the mask expansion and keyframe it over a little bit of time so it comes out to here and then also do that with the opacity so basically we're changing our displacement over time so drag that out to here and then make it zero so going back into our comp we've got here and now if you drag this up you can see we've got this cool displacement for where the muzzle flash is so Normally I'll take horizontal to like 8 and then vertical way up. And uh, that kind of creates that cool ripple effect. And it makes it look like there's heat waves and it's affecting the air around you. And if you want, you can even keyframe the values here. So make this like 15 so it gets more mellow over time. It's looking good. It's looking good. Now, I, I'd say the muzzle flash itself looks a little bit skimpy. So what you can do, if that's the case, um, go ahead and add a new layer solid. And do what we did before with the uh, star. Bring down the mask expansion. Way down. And make it a screen layer and just drop it right in the middle of your uh, muzzle flare and then feather it out it'll bulk it up a little bit and make that one frame long drop it down below here that's looking good so guys thanks for watching this tutorial um, what you can do actually is go ahead and save these uh, then your muzzle flare your shell all that stuff in a uh, in a project so next time you come in you just drag and drop that stuff on you're good to go because after you've done this once it makes the rest of the times really easy in the comments down below make sure to leave me comments about what you want to see in the tutorial because I love doing tutorials for you guys but I need to know what you want to see so let me know and thanks for watching, guys. I hope you can make some cool stuff with this without having to buy, like, an Action Essentials pack or something like that. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe. Catch you next time, guys.